Welcome back to another great episode interview series with Robert Connell YouTube channel. And I'm here with Eli Van Sessen, uh, CEO of, and also co-founder of StarkNet. How the things going, sir? Long time no see. Yes, uh, very good. Long time no see. We last met uh, two years ago at Montenegro. Good to see you, Mohammed, as always. Good to meet the audience. I appreciate it. And last two years, you you did a lot of things, and you have really good developments. You you did great job, uh, especially when you launch. Firstly, how are things going from Starknet Foundation and Starknet side? So things are um, expanding uh, very rapidly. What we have done is the ecosystem has grown. We have um, a lot of uh, very good protocols to be used on StarkNet, things like uh, the extended perps uh, exchange. There's the best AMM out there at Kubo. There's a lot of games um, to play, Loot Survivor, uh, Dojo, Realms, a whole bunch of things. And of course, uh, the best wallets with good account abstraction and good UX, uh, things like uh, Bravos and Ready. Um, so like we're very mature ecosystem. And now I came here to talk in 2049 in Singapore where we're, we are meeting to announce the launch of our new initiative uh, BTC Fi. Oh, could you tell us uh, especially about BTC Fi? In my perspective, uh, especially for the last project they launched in the market, I didn't see any successful launch in this market conditions. And how do you also describe the market conditions and what do you do in your uh, new product? So about the market conditions, I think what usually is happening in crypto is the reality is that it has a lot of uh, speculation and hope, but it doesn't yet have true product market fit. So what you see is people are time and again, you know, trying to discover what is the next big thing. And then that thing shoots up, you know, at some point, whatever, people decide collectively, oh, now it's hyperliquid. So everyone apes into hyperliquid and now everyone's talking about hyperliquid. You know, some time passes, it's some meme coins or, you know, now they're all uh, the perps uh, wars between uh, like Aster and Lighter and, uh, you know, uh, on our technology, there are actually three perps exchanges that are all a part of this mix. So I think we will continue to see this thing where time and again, some projects are being in the center of the spotlight, yeah. uh, and then it just moves around uh, until we get like, you know, stable, good, everyday usage and adoption, which we're not there yet. Do you think is uh, this hype is for a long term or? I think this thing of like latching on to some next big new thing and that thing like exploding and then moving to some other next big thing is going to be with us for a while. But every with every sort of wave of this thing, I think there's more and more adoption because more and more people are coming in, more and more people are actually using it for like their daily usage, you know, like um, a lot of people, myself included, our sort of daily financial consumption is through things like the ready um, credit card, debit card, which uh, I hope is like now available everywhere. Um, I'm hope I hope also like folks in Turkey can get it. Uh, you can just sign up and get so like. With each one of these waves, more and more people can just make, uh, you know, standard day-to-day -day usage of crypto. And I think that will be the end state where everything is, you know, our whole financial life is actually done on crypto. And Got it. Life. So could you tell me more about especially your BTC5 project? Because is, is, is that the Bitcoin backup project or something? Okay. So... Bitcoin is the greatest uh, collateral out there. It's digital gold. You want to, you know, hold it and basically um, hold on to it and transfer it to, uh, you know, the next generation. However, people also want to financialize it, which means to, you know, borrow against it and consume or invest. They would like to get yield on it. Now, all of this financialization of Bitcoin right now is not really taking place on decentralized platforms. Most of it, well... 99% of Bitcoin is not being financialized at all, yeah. right? It's an asset that is very, very static and not put in use. But even the 1% is mostly financialized on um, centralized platforms, and we are out to change that because we think there's true demand for financializing Bitcoin, borrowing against it, putting it to use um, under decentralized platforms that are Bitcoin L2s, and StarkNet uh, is it. Yeah, great. And last thing, how do you describe the current market conditions? And also a lot of people uh, talk about the upcoming regulation, plus a lot of people also, as you mentioned beginning of the interview, uh, talking about uh, new hype, call it Aster or uh, some uh, perp dexes. 
What, 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 do, you th what do you think in, uh, in this kind of uh, topics? I believe that decentralization matters and decent, decentralized things that are really decentralized are going to be the end you know, the end state and the end solution. I do not believe in centralized things. So I, my, my inclination is always to go and follow things that are truly decentralized, that really want to have a broad base of operators and not sort of, you know, like a single or a few of them. That's my view of where, I don't know if the market is heading there, but I think, uh, you know, in the short term, but I think that's where the long term is heading. So I think things like uh, decentralized exchanges, decentralized perps, decentralized layer twos, uh, like Starknet, are going to be the things that last and remain here, whereas the centralized stuff will sort of come and go, but it doesn't have uh, long-term utility in the world of blockchain. Got it, got it. Thank you very much for your valuable insights. Would you like to say something to the Turkish community from here? Well, I love the Turkish community. I think it's great. I think it is embracing uh, crypto for the right reason. Bitcoin is about freedom, and uh, you know we need to use Bitcoin. Starknet is opportunity, opportunity for using that Bitcoin and putting it into use. So uh, I hope you, um, you know, uh, live long, prosper, uh, do a lot of stuff uh, on chain and uh, do your own research, invest wisely. And this is not investment advice. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank if you. you would like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. Thank you. See ya.